Here's the million dollar question. How in the heck do you price yourself and what advice do you have for retouchers and pricing themselves? All right, all right. That's a question that people usually dodge. And burn? All right, so how do you yeah, price yourself? So <clears throat> that's the thing. I think, I think most people don't give up like dollar figures. And that's, there's, there's a reason for that because um, you know, you could talk about your market, but you don't know what other markets are like. So it's not, it's, it's not helpful and can actually be unhelpful to people who are in markets that aren't like yours. But, yeah, yeah. you know, in terms of continental United States, I, I could say that a senior retoucher can make anywhere from uh, 50 bucks an hour to 250 bucks an hour. So that's like a huge range and people are like, and are well, you, how am I supposed to do that? But, are you keeping track of the time or are you saying, all right, this is an eight hour project. So yeah. at a hundred bucks an hour, that's eight, 800, 800 bucks. And yeah. what happens if you go to 11 hours? Yeah. See, this is what's more important than that. Like single dollar value is yeah. like knowing the logic at work in figuring out pricing stuff. And a good roadmap is you look at an image, break it down into how much time and give it an hourly uh, allotment per thing that you need to do. Uh, what you do when you break it down like that into some chunks that have our um, allotments assigned to them and give that to your client, they, they kind of know what you're doing. It's like an educational thing yeah. for them. So they look at that and they go, oh, so he's got to cut the head off of this and swap it with another head and he's got brutal. to cut it out the background. Sounds yeah, brutal. we do some crazy shit. Gotta cut the head off. What happens if they want to do revisions? How does how is that handled? <clears throat> how many revisions do you, you give them? Um for free. Or do you? <coughs> different I've seen different places, different shops do this differently. Um I would say that you you should create those hourly estimates with some padding in there that includes revisions. Because if you go too like granular, too broken out on that, your client's going to be like, I don't need to see all this. This is just kind of wasting their time, yeah. their brain power a little bit. So, you know, maybe put in the contract, and this is important for retouchers, have a contract. Got to have a contract with anybody that you're working with that helps you, protects you and protects them. But you know, give them three revenge, revisions as part of the part of the deal. You know, so they know to expect that. They don't have to worry about you being like, "Oh, well, you want changes now? You got to pay me more." So that's just a waste of their time yeah. and brain power too. Then you might even give them four revisions. You know, you don't want to squabble over. Yeah, throw one in for free. Tiny shit. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that way, and, they're going to come back. They're yeah, like, because oh, they, it was a pleasure to work with. Yeah, because I think a client wants. Especially if they got to get sign off, you know, on yep. budgets and stuff, they they just want one document in their hand that has this amount of money is going to get me this shit done completely, and I don't have to worry about anything else. Now, if they change the scope along the way, then you can yeah. talk to it then because you got it well documented what the agreement was mm -hmm. for you to do. And then if you go over, you know, for some reason, and it's still within the scope of the work, then you kind of eat that cost, right? But if you go under, you also take that extra money too. So yep. if you approach it like you just bill to the estimate, then it's just generally easier because there's less like back and forth and there's a clear expectation of what's gonna get done. So what happens when you get really good and really efficient and something that normally would take the average senior retoucher eight hours, let's say it only takes you four. Yeah, that's a good point. Do you, do you then bill for four? Do you, do you just say, oh, well, great. yeah. And am I, I, am I you know, digging you in a hole right now? I'm not now? gonna say no to money, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, you wanna be, you wanna be ethical with your, with your clients. You don't wanna scam them or something like yeah. that at all. You wanna have good relationships with people. But hey, if you can, there's some jobs that come along that need to be turned around by three o'clock in the afternoon. And if you're doing estimates in that way, if it's around noon and you're gonna crank that out, you still might maybe bill four hours for that. 
Because that amount of work and effort that you got to put in could be worth that four hours. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but that's, yeah, you want to stay fair. You want to be fair. But if you're able to find efficiencies in your workflow, that's sort of like a result of intellectual property that you've created. Sure. Well, that makes sense. You, if, you, if you're like a badass and you can do a six-hour job in three hours, that's because you've put all this time in yeah. to like figuring out how to be um, super efficient and super effective. You know? yeah. and Built a workflow. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, no, that that's absolutely right. Because you've got you've got a workflow and you've got efficiencies within that that you've developed over years. So they're 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 not paying for a one to one of you got to sit in front of your computer for an hour. You know, yeah, it's posed like that as a helpful thing to show them what you're doing. But if they're paying for like a top tier retoucher, they're paying for that experience and that service. You know, good answer. Good answer, Seth. Yeah. Good answer. All right. I'm just telling the truth, man. You're just telling the truth. Just speaking it. Just yeah. telling it out. Yeah. Yeah.